Hello, Slicey Dicers. Welcome to Bruised Blades, February 9th of 2020. How's everybody doing? Hey, hey, hey. Oh, I put 2019 in the title again. I'll change it when we're done. I'm a moron. I do that all the time. Let me pull your comments up. We're going back in time. Hey, Jacques Knife. Hey, Zach. I was going to ask you about something. If I remember, I'll Instagram you later. There was something I was going to ask you about, and I do not recall what it was. Yeah, I got the four max out. Got a bunch of stuff out. We'll get you some knives here in a minute. Let's get the beer going so everybody can see that. And my throat's kind of dry, so I need to uh, need to hydrate. Hey, Justin, Matt Baker, Mark, Randy, Lavender Pants, Libby, good to see all of you. Ethan, got the going wheel of Jenny's hallway today. Um, I'm slumming it a bit, also because I made fish fry the other night, and there is no better beer batter than Genesee. Plain old Genesee is good. And at the local corner store, they only sell it in Tall Boys. So I used one for the making the fish, drank one while I was doing it, and still have four sitting around. Libby says, is that the same can that was in the format review? No, uh, that's another one. That one got drank. I did go down and get one out of the fridge, though. Mm, having a Heineken. Those are good. I'll get those at bars sometimes when they don't have other stuff. Jenny, I think you have to be from the Northeast to like it, preferably upstate New York. It's not the best, but it's good. I mean, it's not bad. I think plain old, plain old Jenny I like. Jenny Light, Jenny Cream, disgusting. But and Jenny Bach, they do one around over wintertime that's really, really good. But I'm great. I have a Guinness. That's what I had last week and the week before, I think, too. But I'm all out of those. I think I drank my last Guinness on the uh, the live show. Hey, Zach, thanks. Oh, yeah, I always get it. So you always, you always donate first and remind me, yes, the super chat is on if you want to kick in a few shekels. So, um, yeah, pretty cool week. So these are all new this week. Um, not these two, uh, but I got Brian Nado Void which I've been waiting quite some time for. It wasn't late or anything, and it was going to be a while when I ordered it, but oh my, that's pretty. I really, really like this thing. And I took it apart and lubed it because I'm that guy, and look at that now. I'm seeing all the pictures of the micarta ones, though, and I'm kind of slightly wishing I got the micarta one. The marble carbon fiber looks fantastic, but so do those micarta ones. I guess it looked greener. And I don't like green, but everybody's green my card actually looks pretty brown to me. Yeah, one wiggle. It's not even that. I'm not even, don't even have to shake it. Just, just yeah, this thing is fan-freaking-tastic. I've been carrying it like crazy. And it's, it is a $350 knife that I will never be able to get again, but I don't care. It's just too good not to carry. I think one thing I didn't really emphasize in the little quick video I did of it is just how multi-angle contour these scales are. It's why it's so freaking comfortable in the hand. It's just, they're just fantastic. Some people don't like that the clip is polished. I kind of like it. It matches the hardware, matches the blade. And I and I don't think it'll show scratches as much. If it, if it was the bead blasted, it would be showing scratches all the time. I, this won't show them. And if it does, it's super easy just to put the buffing wheel on my Dremel and just go whoop, and they'll be gone. So I'm kind of, I'm kind of fine with that. But yes. This is uh this is my new favorite at the moment. Very, very good. Close to one of my favorites, though, also is this uh the Ferrum Forge exec. I know you guys like it because holy crap, this got a lot of views. So did that. I was really, really surprised how many I think this is like one of the highest viewed videos I've had in a long time, just the unboxing of this. And I had said I'm not gonna do knives that you can't get anymore and all that kind of stuff. And you could still get a few of these when I I already had this on order when I made that decision, and I wasn't, and you guys don't often watch videos for knives over 300, but man, you watch this one. I think it's got like eight and a half thousand views or something like that in, what, three days, four days. But the Ferrum Forge Exec, also, you guys seem to be pretty fond of this, and you can still get these. A little cheaper. Well, they got a little wiggle, but not much. Not much. Void is what I will never have, dude, but avoid my bank account, Kevin says. Yeah, they are, they are pretty pricey. They are pretty pricey. What did that super machined void sell for? It was at 25. I don't know anything about that. Let's see the Chavez. You can't. I sold it quite some time ago. It just didn't carry much. Couldn't deal with the clip. And got to feed the beast. Uh, do, you, uh, do you end up selling 
end up sending the terminus back. Yeah, I, I think you'd have had it by now. I'll look up your address when I'm done. We did have a whole lot of snow last week, so uh, a lot of stuff has been very delayed, both coming in and coming out. I thought I was going to have a really cool show you guys tonight, and uh, I'm not, so because of that. So we had an ice storm and snowstorms and all kinds of stuff. It's fine now. It's 30, everything's melting off. Man, it's I took my southern grind out because I haven't showed it to you guys in a while, and I probably should have cleaned it first. It's got schmutz all over it. That? I don't think that's even packing tape. I don't even know what that is. I probably just gave myself coronavirus or something. Um, uh, Chavez clip is, clip is not good. Dagger knives clips are way worse. Yeah, I haven't even looked at those. Uh, hey, Knife Therapy, how's it going? I just was watching one of your videos the other day, and I do not remember what it was. Uh, USA Made Blade has another Spider Monkey exclusive coming soon. Yeah, I didn't see what it was. I I saw that comment, but I don't know if he even said what it was. Uh, is the Southern Grind worth the price tag? I wanted one for a while. Yes, 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 it is. Uh, Brandon says, thoughts on the Formax? I just did a review on it uh, Friday, so you can watch that. But it's cool. It's ridiculous. It's big. It's heavy. It's dumb, but I love it. Uh, what's the best way to sell knives? I need to sell a couple. Well, I found the best way to sell knives is to uh, get a YouTube channel with 12,000 followers and then knife videos, but I'm joking, obviously. Um, uh, Blade forums or um, uh, Instagram works pretty good. If you have a lot of Instagram followers or you can use the right hashtags, they canceled, they they blocked one of the, um, uh, they blocked one of the uh, other, um, hashtags but i know now like knife sales works or naf sales and i know there's a website coming out nafsales.com or something like that that they're trying to make for. And yeah the reddit thing um chronicle posted uh yeah i don't i don't do i don't do reddit i i don't understand reddit um they block you on facebook you try to sell there so don't so, so facebook market i'm now banned for life yeah knife sale is blocked but knife sales is not and naf sale is not I think that got. I think knife sale got blocked, not necessarily because of Instagram policies. I think it was somebody just kept complaining because it said specifically they blocked it due to complaints. And I think maybe somebody got screwed or a few people got screwed by one guy or something and just kept complaining enough that they just killed the hashtag. Because the knife sales has still worked, you know, pluralized. It still worked forever, and that never went away. And that knife sale one that they made. The day that knife sale got canceled has been working. Um, yeah, someone was being a jerk and they got rid of it exactly. Uh, yeah, they they hid your comment, Ohio, but I saw it. I saw it. You were you were correct in your sentiment though. Um, Spider Monkey is a very very good knife. You got to try one. I told the story about how I got, but I, I went to Blade uh, Blade HQ and they allowed me to pick like basically anything I wanted, and um, I could get it at wholesale, which was nice because they gave me a tour of the place and I did a little video for them and stuff, and um, was not planning on this. I had four or five in mind and this was not one of them, and then I held it and I got it and I freaking loved it. Um, hydrate, yes. You weren't blocked. It just it just put your comment up review and I didn't put it on. Calm down. Um, but, uh, but yeah, I, I do love me. Love me the spider monkey. I hadn't had it out in a while. So, um, Brian, did you put the scales and only the warthog scar on your hinder? It's lighter now. No, it's not lighter now. Oh, yeah, no, I did take I did take the liner out. Yes. I misunderstood you. Yes, I did take it out. I was wrong. Were you the one that pointed that out to me last time? I didn't know. They don't give instructions when you get the scales. I didn't know. Um, need to get the matching hinder pen. Those are pricey. Those are pricey. I like a nice pen, but I don't spend a whole lot on them because those I could lose. I think it says New Jurassic is out. Yep, I've got one. I think Metal Complex is supposed to be sending me his when, well, his uh, USA May Blades when he's done with it. So that'll probably cost me a few hundred dollars. I need, it's already, it's only what, early February, but I already need to start back on Vibes and Blood Blade Show. I have a goal at Blade Show. I have one thing I want to get. I have one thing I definitely want to get. I want to get a 
So that's the third one with some kind of inlay. I don't care what it is. I don't care if it's wood, my carter, or carbon, or whatever. I just want to Ben's the third one with inlays. So we will see. Texas Blades excited for my first hinder coming this week. What you getting? They're all pretty good, but what are you getting? That's my annoying dog outside. The Jurassic is just awesome looking. Ohio says, yeah, it does look great. It does look like all the things that I don't like about the... Uh, um, about the, uh, yep, yeah, about the XM18 that doesn't have that landing pad and stuff. Looks like the Ergos are a little better. Um, we'll see. Oh, you're getting a three inch warning? I'm, I might, I might be getting one of those too. I'm very excited about it. I might be getting one of those this week, so we will see. Um, probably late this week, but I think I'm getting one too. Uh, Randy F says, ever had a Benz before? Yeah, I had a 21, and you know, honestly, I mean, it was cool, but, uh, that was early days of the channel, and there was no way I could afford to keep it. I had to, I had to let it go so I could buy more stuff to review. I wasn't getting as many loaners and stuff as I do now, and had to feed the beast and sell it. I sold them, bought, like, three other knives to review. But I got it, I got mine cheap, too. I bought it from a friend, and, and he, uh, he gave me a really good deal on it. It was technically used, but... You couldn't tell. I need to try Bird Blaine's Iron Pup Stud. Yeah, I do kind of want this. I had the regular one. I liked it. I, I just thought the blade was really thick, and it looks like they didn't change that. But I'm going to check one out if they have them while I'm at Blade Show, but I'm probably not going to just order one. Uh, shut up. I love the warning hint. Yep. Yeah, uh, hopefully I'm going to have one. Warnings are awesome. Uh, well, I know I'm going to have one. It's just a matter of whether or not it becomes mine or not. <laughs> uh, I have the half-track warning and the uh, murder XM warning. Well, the half-track warning is what I've got coming. That's what he meant, too, because he had three-inch warning. Uh, I'm not going to show that, Steve. You know I'm not going to show that on here. But hello, Steve. I didn't have to hide it. The tubes of you did it for me. Uh, I will be making a cheap knives in June 31, maybe at the top of my list. Yeah, if they have them, they'd be more and more likely ones to have them. But uh, so why is the Jurassic better than the XM? I'm not sure I would say it's better than the XM, Matt. It's just, uh, I mean, I haven't held it yet, but it, it looks more ergonomic for sure. And the one thing that really has always annoyed me about the XM18 and all of its guys is, is when you flip it, it plays, especially if you don't move it away, when you flip it, it's really hard to not make your finger land on the, that pretty sharp bit of jimping there. So flipping it many, many times, uh, it gets annoying after a while. It's a long flipper tab. Like, if you've had an X17 for a long time, you're used to just making sure your finger doesn't hit there, but never really liked that about it. Um... You still failed, Steve. You still failed. They're smarter than you, Steve. The tubes of you computers are smarter than you. Super Steel Steve is here, trying to be Super Steel Steve in the comments, and, and YouTube's not letting him, and I'm not going to allow the comment just because, even though it's not that bad, I don't care. I, it annoys Steve, and therefore it makes me happy. I think everybody thinks that Steve and I don't get along. We we just have a unique relationship. We get along very well. We just uh, we just like to constantly bust on each other. Okay, you're getting there. Okay, you've got four words out. It's gonna block the last. Oh, you're cheating. <laughs> Hey, you did it. I don't think anybody, uh, I don't think a lot of people in the channel agree with you, though, right now, Steve. So, we got, no, oh, 95 people on here. You snuck up on me, uh, you sneaky little bastards. I didn't see it. Um, I see little blades, but am I too late for brew? It's nothing special. Well, it's special, I guess, if you if you don't live in New York. But uh, Genesee, just a plain old tall boy of regular Genesee. That's it. Kick him out. Yep. What knife is the is the tiny void looking thing? Oh, this is the Ferrum Forge Mini Archbishop. I did a review on it a while ago. It doesn't look anything like a void other than that it has a hole in it like that. But um, 
Hello, Scott Simmons. You got just got a ProTech Emerson CQC7 and OD Green G10. And oh my God. Yeah, I I really liked the one that I had. It actually is winging its way. I think he may have already gotten it. The, uh, the Trade Me Anything uh, gentleman that won. He got that. So, uh, oh, here's a cool knife that he had that he sent me. This is, this can't, I don't know why I'm trying to open it like that. This is a really weird knife. So, oh, I have the lock on. That's why it's not coming open. So, this is a Kershaw Emerson, or a Kershaw. I can't always say Kershaw Emerson. I don't know why. This is the a Kershaw ET 1900 or 1900 ET. Grant and Gavin Hawk design. And it is very weird. And, yep, there it goes. It is a very odd knife in many, many ways. Yeah. Uh, very, very cool. Not surprised what make it. It looks like a lawsuit waiting to happen. But apparently they're worth a fair amount of money. Um, if you are a Kershaw collector and you do want this, let me know because I'm not a collector. So uh, I'm not going to keep it around. Uh, I found them on eBay priced between like 150 in used condition with no box, 300 brand new in the box. This is absolutely 100% brand new, but there is a box. So I said 200. I don't know. I don't understand collectors. I had it appraised by someone who knows a lot more about this than me. Two guys actually appraised it for me, and they both said 225. So I'm saying I'm saying 200. So, and no, Steve, I will not accept that trade. It's neat, I guess. Um, it ain't my thing, but uh, it's actually not that horrible on your hand and stuff. Actually, all right to hold. It's not too bad. Oh, and it also has a little carabiner slash bottle opener thing here. Yeah, it only works when it's closed. Yeah, it's got that little thing on it. It's got a little really nice little lock, a little wheel lock on it. It's pretty cool. It's very well made. It's one of the USA made ones. No idea what the blade steel is. I couldn't find that anywhere. Uh, it doesn't say on it, but uh, it's interesting. That is for absolutely sure. And uh, apparently collectors like freaking love them, so... We will see. Andrew, is there a knife under 200 you, are, you could recommend? Uh, lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of them. That's uh, kind of the wheelhouse of these reviews, if you, you go back through. I would say probably watch my uh, top 10 over 100 video from last year, and I think most most of those were under 200. Um, 8010, yes. I'll just go ahead and say it. That was the knife I was hoping to have today to show you guys. It was a Cold Steel 8010, but it's not coming until tomorrow. Um, but yeah, I did buy an 8010 back. So uh, I did go get another one. Very, very happy about that. Uh, you are going to be seeing uh, it in a video. I'm a couple videos I have coming up. I'm going to do um, Knives So Nice. I bought them twice because recently um, I've been really... Um, in a, not recently, in that recently, over the last seven or eight months, I've been in kind of a uh, reacquisition mode because last year hit some bit of financial troubles and uh, I had to liquidate a lot of the, of my stuff. And so I'm kind of buying a lot of stuff back that, that I want, so that I've always wanted. So um, uh, that's what I'm doing. And um, uh, I've got, so I've, I've, I think I've bought back, I think it's like 10 over the last like eight, eight months, seven, eight months. And you guys, I haven't shown you most of them. So I think a cool, interesting little video uh, just to show like, you know, Knives and Ice, I bought them twice. And I've shown you a lot of them, but not all of them. And I think it'll be fun. Uh, we're going to do that. And then also I'm going to do a battle to the death with the shaman that a lot of you guys have been asking for. So uh, Matt Baker, I didn't buy yours because I thought yours is a hollow grind. I need the, I need the current one. If I'm going to use it for videos. So even though the hollow grind is better, I'm getting a flat grind because that is the current one. And that's what, that's what, uh, that's what's the current one is. And that's what I have to use for comparisons and all that stuff. I see no knives with spidey holes. Well, I've got two in my pocket and I have one in my jacket downstairs. So here we'll, we'll rotate out. Uh, we'll bring, we've, this has been on the channel a lot lately. There's my Capara that was in my pocket today. Um, and in my other pocket, uh, another one, Knife So Nice, I bought it twice. The uh, Little Native. Got rid of it. It's just such a damn good fifth pocket knife that uh, I know I said in the nerd video um, it cured me of my desire to want another one of these, but then I asked 
my wholesaler how much it was, and it was really cheap. And I was like, he had one sitting around on his shelf for a very long time. And I was like, all right, fine. So I got it. TRM, I'm on my third. Yeah, I've got, I've got three. I own three. Um, one is at, uh, oh, I remember I was going to ask you, Zach, now. It's a question about the nerd. Um, I'll, I'll message you on Instagram. Um, yeah, uh, the nerd cured me for a while, but then, you know, this was cheap, so I got that one. Um, love my Capara. almost sold it, but didn't. I love my Capara, and this is not the CQI one. This is the older one, and mine has always been so smooth and so free droppy that I just don't feel feel the need. Yeah, Zach, I'm glad. I'm glad you enjoyed it. You've been good to me. I can loan. I can loan you a nice knife. Is the nerd also in twenty CV? I believe it was. Yeah. All I need. I'll just say it over here, Zach, since you're on here. All I need is if. Um, if you have, thank you, Lavender Pants, I appreciate that. If you have time this evening, or or, uh, or if you haven't packed it up yet, could you snap a pretty photo of it? I need it for an article for uh, Knives Overrated. I have my other two, but I didn't have that one, so. Um, that was it. Uh, I'm hesitant about the, the Capara. Should I? No, you should definitely get a Capara, Andrew. They are awesome. I don't, I don't, I don't know anybody who owns a Capara who doesn't like it. 120 on here. Awesome. And yes, the super chat is open, guys, if you want to kick in a few bucks. I really appreciate that. Yeah, Zach, you take better pictures than me anyway for Instagram and stuff. Uh, oh, Blade HQ has the mini arc pictures. Yeah, I saw that yesterday. Yeah, the carbon fiber one is only Fair and Forge knife works, but yeah, they, the G10 one is in stock. I did. I saw it somewhere else, too. I don't remember where. I'm going to use my disgusting vape thing. It's not weed. It's just regular. I got a new vape today. Uh, I broke my smock, um, not the Nord, the smaller one, Novo 2, which is like my backup. I broke it for like the third time. And I took it in, and they, my vape shop is really cool, and they said, just pick something else. So I got this. It's very stormtrooper looking, but uh, it's going to match another knife that is shipping out Monday or, or Tuesday. So a uh, little hint there. If you can guess what it is, what new knife coming out that's being released tomorrow would match this? White Mountain is up almost 130 on the 4 Max Scout. Yeah, it's weird. Uh, Zach can't answer. He already knows. Um, yeah, White Mountain is, is charging the same price as is on the website, which is kind of weird. Um, but whatever. Yes, mini bug out. Yeah, I got the Stormtrooper one. I am going to rant in this in this uh, mini bug out review. I know. Just I haven't even seen the knife yet. I'm sure the knife itself is great, but wow, what stupid color choices that was for those two. Let's pick the most polarizing polarizing colors that like we can get. Like black blade with a white handle, and then the other one is orange with a satin blade, but it has those weird thumb studs on it. It's got those weird, like, kind of brassy thumb studs that don't match anything on the knife. I just... Wow, that was weird. Why didn't they just make it blue like the regular one? Why isn't there a blue with a satin blade just like the original one? I totally would have bought that. So I picked the black with white because I hate coated blades, but I hate orange even more. And white will be easier to dye. So I got the white, because I can change the white to any freaking color I want to, and I don't have to worry about changing I'm just going to have a coated blade I'm not a fan of, but that's funny. I say I'm not a fan of coated blades, but um, after I get that, that is going to be, they both have to be right here. That will be my one, two, and third coated blade band-aid. So I say that I don't like coated blades, and I don't, but I just don't like them not making, I mean, yeah, they made it an option. You don't have to have the coated blade, but you have to get hot or orange. I don't, I don't hunt. I don't need a bright orange blade. 102 now we're up here. The record for the night. Brian, any word, idea on, on what? The Arcane order is available tomorrow. Yes, Chad. Uh, by the way, guys, uh, my review of the Arcane is going to be up um, about half an hour after this is over with. So uh, I did do, I did, I did get one of the prototypes. I did a review of it. I kind of saved it till the night before the pre-order is open. So um. The uh, Arcane Necronaut review will be up 
and probably by not, about 9.30, I think I have a schedule for. So check that out. It's just a little quick seven, eight minute because it's a prototype, but it's, it was shockingly good. Shockingly good. Where is it on? I don't know what. I don't know what you're... YouTube? What are you? I don't know what you're asking about. The the arcane video, yeah, it's gonna be up on YouTube after this is over at like nine thirty. If that's what you're asking about, I don't even know. Um, any word on the Spider Manix Two Lightweight or Spy Twenty Seven be available? I do not know, but I do know I have, um, one I have. One of each, what's the other one? The Native 5 that's coming out in it too, I think. I don't know what the other one was. Oh no, it was the Pair 3 Lightweight. No, I've got this, I've got the Manix 2 Lightweight with Spy 27 on reserve at two different places. <laughs> so uh, my buddy wanted one, so I had a couple of uh, my contacts hold hold one for me. So um, yeah, it'll be up at 9.30. Hey, Keith, good to see you, man. Thanks, thanks for kicking in, as always. Uh, no apologies for being late. You're never late. You're just uh, less than on time. Um, yeah, is the super chat's open. You want to kick in a few shekels? That's always a big help to us. I really appreciate that. With the the months that I have to skip a couple live shows, I really do notice that. So, um, hey Keith, how's the garage coming along? Oh, you know what? I almost forgot. I have a treat. I forgot. My wife made my wife made Valentine's Day cookies. And uh, she made me a special purple one because I'm doing the live show tonight and it's the slicey dicey color. And my wife is an amazing baker, so this should be very, very good. I'm going to eat it now. Yeah, my wife's cool. Mm hmm. Yep. Mm hmm. And no, <laughs> almost made me spit cookie out onto my knives, Tyler. Um, my wife makes nothing from a mix or nothing from a box either. So, I made a YouTube video today, Keith. I didn't know you had a channel. Is that is this a new development? Is she a better maker than you are a mashed potato maker? Oh, I don't know. I think we we go pretty even then. My mashed potatoes are pretty epic. Am I Irish? Yeah, it is, it is kind of blurple, but it's tasty. Lucky, I want a blurple cookie. She tried to give me like a, a tie-dye one with sprinkles all over it, but I hate sprinkles. I will check it out, Keith. I didn't know that. I was unaware that you had a channel. Can I do that while I'm sitting here? I don't because I'm the moderator, I can go, oh, go to channel. Definitely click open link and new tab. I don't want to leave my own live stream. Well, you have a new subscriber because you are, I seem like a cool guy. You may be a serial killer for I know, but interwebs, you seem like a pretty cool guy. I, I will check those out later. Hate sprinkles on sub. <laughs> I did sub to you. You got a new one. Communists hate sprinkles. They just stick in my teeth. I don't mind the taste of them. They just stick in my teeth and stuff. I won't I won't reject a cookie with sprinkles just purely based on the fact that it has sprinkles. But given my druthers, no sprinkles. I wish Open L was cool enough to get you purple handled knives. So do I, Plains Crafter. I'm gonna I'm gonna wait to Blade Show and talk to him in person. Yeah, exactly. I don't like him, but I'll eat him, but it's not my favorite thing. That's a good cookie. It's already almost gone. I was really excited to get one of those new Kershaws, but for eight ten dollars more, I can get an Archbishop Mini. Yep, this is which new Kershaw was it? I'll allow that one, Steve. You hand out signed nude signed nudes at Blade at Blade. I I will not I will not purchase one of those. 
Um, Open All does have purple handed knives, but they do them in very short runs, and I wanted to get like a hundred of them to do a line of ones with the Slicey Dicey logo on them. I have the, the sample I got from the company that was going to make them for me somewhere. Yeah, I don't know where it is. Oh, there it is. Yeah, I was going to get a bunch of these made and sell them, but um, they didn't want to do a run uh, big enough for them. So I was just going to buy them at retail and then put the thing on them, and then it wasn't going to wasn't going to be enough. So I'll talk to my Blade Show, though. I'm very charming in person. I'm going to do my best. Still, I'm not giving up on it. But, yeah, because you got to have a, be a dealer to get them at wholesale. So I would have had to charge you guys, like, twice what a regular open out costs, and that would just be silly. I am going to do something custom, though, that I am going to be selling to you guys. If you like it, it is not a knife. Um, I've been working with a company. I don't know if I should tell you. Yeah, I'm just going to say, I, mean, I, I designed a wallet. I'm a fashion designer now, so there's going to be a slicey dicey, really nice wallet. So um, if you would like to order, you will be able to. So I'm going to review it without a slicey dicey logo on it. Um, cause it's just a custom color of one of his regular knives. And then he's, um, and then you can, uh, get it if you want in my custom colors with my logo stamped into it. So do I have a photo of it? I do, but it's on my phone and I'm recording this on my phone. So, um, I don't even want to say the name of the company yet. You guys will find out later this week. So I, I should have it Wednesday or Thursday and I'll do a little thing. So, um, but it's a, it's a very nice company. It was very nice work that a lot of you will have heard of. It's not Das Alphamir before anybody asked. That was, I, I, he is so busy. There was, it was, there was no way he was going to have time to do something like that. But, um, it's, no, it's not mostly, it's not mostly purple. It's mostly gray, a little bit of purple. Um, I think they're going to be about, um, I think they're about, they're not that bad. 60, something like that. 50, 60 bucks, or maybe a little more than that. I can't remember now. But, um, yeah, nice little custom, very well done, hand-stitched, you know, all that kind of stuff. And uh, you'll be ordering it from them, but it'll have my logo on it, and I'll get a little kickback. Yeah, so it's, yeah, Jordash wallet. <laughs> wow, wow, you must be my age. Does, is Jordash even still a company? I remember when those were cool when I was a kid. I think when I was old enough to care about clothes, Jordash was just barely still cool. Yep, it was the cookie. The Bullet Bro cookie called you in. I'm going to take another bite. I'm going to be all mush mouth again. Still got 92 yen here. Awesome. This is a pretty good night. Um, thanks, Big Red. Actually, Big Red, is it, are you the one that may have pointed that comp this company out to me? I'm not sure. But anyway, somebody pointed me out that on Instagram that they had purple leather. And I was like, oh, yeah, that was like a pretty good idea. I don't want to give details because, honestly, they're all on my Instagram messages and I can't look at it right now and I don't want to be wrong. But I thought I'd tease it. And also, one of my, another little teaser, that we also see this week because the first video of it is coming up, but um, the Battles to the Death uh, now have a sponsor. So those will be the only sponsored videos on my on my channel. It's not going to be like reading ads. This is going to be this brought to you by whatever. Here's a link to their website, and you guys will be able to get a discount code to that website. And uh, um, I will just say they're a knife retailer. It's going to help me out a whole lot to get things because you guys say, hey, can you do a, do a battle to the death between this and that, between A and B, and I only own B, and I have to go find A, and this company now will just send me A, and then we're good to go. And then you guys will get a pretty significant discount. I was pretty surprised when he told me what the discount he wanted to offer was, so there'll be another uh, discount code. But it is a U.S. Uh, night retailer. One you probably haven't heard of, but uh, you should. 
up and comer, very, very cool company that I'm very excited to be working with. Not going to quit the White Mountain Knives discount. That's still going to be going on. I'm still going to get stuff from them because both of these guys, a lot of them, they don't. White Mountain Knives have stuff has stuff that this uh, this other place doesn't doesn't have, and vice versa. So, any Ki Ki Kinzer, I assume, Kaiser or Two Sun reviews coming. Um, I'm waiting on something from Kaiser. I've been waiting on forever, and it hasn't shown up. And then uh, Two Sun, yes, uh, I have one coming. It'll probably be here. Well, I ordered it Saturday, so it won't ship till tomorrow. So it'll probably be here Wednesday. I got the Kaiser... God, what was it? Let me look up real quick on my computer. I hate the stupid names, or the lack of names, more accurately. The stupid numbers. What did I get? I know it's like a carbon fiber liner lock with... Um, 14C28. Uh, I got the... TS-182 in the 14C28N, not the for Fancy Pants one. And now I got to get back to you guys. So, yeah. I got I got two uh, two uh, TS, or two, uh, yeah, two sons before, and then you guys all said I did the wrong ones, and so I just didn't even bother reviewing them. I just sold them. But now I got the uh, TS-182 coming, which is a fairly new one. 79 bucks, 14C28N, uh, 14 c 28 It looked like one that I would just like anyway. So I so I did that. Just found out this week that USA Made Blade is in my home state of North Carolina. Yes, they are. They're very near where I used to live. I used to live in uh, Fayetteville, and they're not they're not that super far from there. I can't wait for Tucson to supernova. That's a good that's a good pun. That's a science joke, everybody. If you don't know, look at the burn on Mark Ridgewell. I'm just I'm just kidding. That wasn't a bad joke. Um, yeah, we got Crucible makes all that stuff. Ontario Knives isn't that far from me, but they don't make anything. And, um, apparently at their offices, they don't have anything either. Cause I wanted, I remember when the R2D2 came out, I was really, I wanted to make sure I was the first one to review it. And I called them and said, Hey, can I just drive here and, and get, get one? And they're like, yeah, we're not going to have any. They go straight to distributors. We don't even see some of the stuff. I was like, oh, okie doke. I don't think I'd want to go vi visit Crucible, though. I don't think the uh, Steel Factory would be extremely excited. Uh, my baggage says, better be USA Made Blade. I do a lot of stuff with USA Made Blade. I would, I would love to do more with them, and maybe they will wind up sponsoring some things at some point. But uh, no, they only do USA made stuff. And for the battle to the death, I need somebody with a wider breadth of you know what's in stock. That's the the main reason to do it is so that I can get things that I can either borrow or get cheaply, and to do the battle to the death that you guys like so much. And so therefore, I need more than just USA made stuff. You know, I did do when I used to work for Wired. Though I went and toured a. Um, a recycling plant, which I thought was going to be horribly boring. They had some new amazing recycling machine that sorts everything out. And it was actually here in Rochester. I didn't live in Rochester at the time. I lived about an hour and a half away. But I drove up here, and it was actually very interesting. And now when my wife says, you can't recycle that, I say, yes, you can, because I've been to the place where they sort it, and I know how they do it, and it's fine. It's like, that, that can's not clean enough to recycle. Yes, it is. I've been there. It's fine. Um, my parents own a cabin near Smoky Night on Mountain Knife Works, so I did visit a couple times here. Oh, cool. That place is gigantic. I'd love to go see that. I think I might pass out. And see you later, Andrew. I guess somebody, Andrew's leaving. Hello, hello Lion Knives. Nice to see you. What else do I want to talk about tonight? I don't know. Uh, what blade to carry tomorrow? I think I'm actually going to carry this tomorrow. Because I got it out for this, because I thought, I want to bring out a couple knives I haven't brought out in a while. So I brought this out, and then, um, yeah, I'm gonna, I think I'm going to carry that tomorrow. I realized I missed it after I brought it out. Now, another review coming out, which I think is tomorrow night's review? Yes, I believe tomorrow night's review is. I already recorded it. The Sabibi Shredder. I... 
and it's writing a wrong because I got a loaner for one from Gear Towards Gear, and then uh, I did the top 10 of the year thing, and it made that, and then I recorded a review, and then my phone ate it. It would not upload. I don't know what happened. So uh got another one. Made a nice little swap with somebody. I traded my uh, the CVV Chronic for it. So uh, now I have a Strutter. So I will, I'm remedying this and doing the the full review of it. I don't think it's deceptively good, BD Swaim. I think it's just good. I just think it's very obviously good. <laughs> I don't know. It's just awesome. It's just, and I got the blue one this time. The first one was plain black. I like the blue a little bit better, honestly. The little pop of color, as everybody always says. Mmm. Mmm. That's nice. Dog door, dog draws says uh, something new. Derek Costa's alone. I never heard of that. I'll have to look that up at some point. Yeah, we'll actually put the shredder out here. What are we going to take off? We'll take off the new channel mascot because you guys see this every week, even though it is amazing. And I, I pull it out and just look at it sometimes because I'm a nerd. What else about coming up this week? I had to record a whole bunch of videos because I'm sending some stuff back to Shabazz. And so I've been spending the last two days recording. He's going to borrow the Formax Scout. I can't wait to see Shabazz's review of this, honestly. I think it's going to be hilarious. Um, so I'm doing a, a battle to the death that you guys have asked for. There's going to be two battles to the death this week. Um, I don't know in which order, but 80-10 and the, the Shaman. And you guys have been asking for it. I don't know if I was going to watch it or not because they're too expensive dives. But uh, Spidey Chef versus the Drunken. So I'm finally going to do that. You guys have been asking for it. Shabazz, Lomi, and Drunken. And um, we'll see how that goes. So I don't want to bother doing a whole review of the Drunken because everybody's already done it. Um, but I think that would be good. Uh, do you know if they're going to come out with other sprint runs for the little Native 5 than Rex 45? I don't know. Well, they've done dealer exclusives. Didn't, um... Uh, what is that that place? Uh, yeah, somebody did a red and black M4 one or something? They've done dealer exclusive ones, I know. Uh, what is something you wish knife companies would start or stop doing? I wish they would stop doing so many limited editions for no freaking reason whatsoever. Uh, that's terribly annoying. Um... Uh, what I wish they would start doing, I don't know, the start, start doing less of those. <laughs> That's the biggest thing I'm mad about right now is all the limited stuff for no stupid reason. It's just, I don't know, it's just dumb. Can't get drunk enough to drunk, justify the price of the drunken. It is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful thing. I actually still have it. I'm packing them up in the morning. I do have it here. Let me get it. It's in the box ready to go. Here, I'm going to unwrap it for you guys. Let's head it in bubble wrap. Get it out. Come on. Live TV. I mean, pictures don't do it justice. The milling on it is out freaking standing. Thank you very much, Franco, for the beers. Yes, hydrate. I'll do that. And the finish on the blade is gorgeous. I mean, I've held customs that weren't nearly this nice. But it's still, the fact of the matter is it still says Spider Co. on it, you know? It's just like how Lux and Infinity thought they were going to compete with, you know, Mercedes and BMW. And in the end, yeah, they're still around. They still sell a lot, a lot of cars, but they couldn't compete with it because it still is, you know, it's still just a Toyota or it's still, you know, just a Nissan. And um, I feel kind of that way about this. And this pocket clip is uh, horrid. Horrid, 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 horrid. Uh, Key says, Lynn Thompson, Tyler. You know what? It, it, it's possible. That thing is just so stupid. Damn, my big, silly, stupid cold steel. But it's going to be with Nick for a couple weeks, and I don't know, maybe some night. I'll knock back a couple cans and wind up, wind up buying one. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but... <laughs> I would just watch somebody's video. He, I don't remember who he was. Only, he only had like 50 subscribers. He, pretty decent video. But he had one of the signature ones. And uh, it did look pretty cool. How's the void treating you? I love it. It's the first knife I buy here. 
It's fantastic. Let me just look at that. That is, that is amazing. And just so cool. Carries so well. There's nothing I don't like about this knife at all. I love it to tiny little pieces. Jock knives. Yes, that's the one with the crisp blade. You can, with the like two-handed, practically, you know, I can almost get two hands on this. I showed it in the review, but yeah, I, I can get what, like, like two and two and seven eighths hands on this thing. Yeah. Hack at those dastardly round pole things he hacks at. I'm just over here waiting for you to get 50 Patreon members. So am I. Yeah, we do have, uh, we're almost there. What was it, 46, 47? And I'm almost to the, the $50 a month giveaways, too. I, I, it's 195 bucks a month. I said when I had 200, I give away, you know, knives worth or something worth $50 a month. Um, so, uh, I'll be doing that once I cross the 200, but, uh, I'm always right on the edge and never quite get over it. So, uh, if you want to go join up, um, also there's going to be a giveaway on my Instagram tomorrow morning because I was not paying attention and, uh, I crossed 5,000 Instagram, uh, followers and I did not notice I'm at like 5,030 something or whatever. So, um. I will be doing that. So keep an eye on my Instagram. And uh, at some point tomorrow morning, it's it's not, it doesn't matter what time you're going to have days to enter it. So um, I'll be putting that on there. And then all you got to do is, you know, the usual things, reply, tag a friend, that kind of stuff. So um, yeah, I, ha I had no idea. I knew I was coming close to it, but I gained like, I think I gained like 300 followers in the last week. So I just hadn't paid attention. Luckily, I do have knives to give away, though, so it's, it, it worked out. I do have stuff that I, I paid very little or nothing for, so it's not hard for me. And I have a little work sharp thing and stuff, so I can put together a little package. That's what she said. Um, I think. Does that make sense? Kind of. It's not my best work, but it kind of makes sense. But yeah, I'll be doing that tomorrow. Yeah, a little, little swag bag. And we'll, we'll do that for... But it's cool. I mean, I, I never I never understood Instagram. I had Instagram almost since the day they started on my, on my personal one, and I never used it. And then now, since I started this channel, I kind of had to. And I can't believe I got 5... I'm almost more, more impressed by my 5,000 Instagram followers than I am... What am I at on YouTube now? 12,200? I'm almost more impressed with the Instagram. But by the way... My, uh, my, they haven't. So if you know somebody who's not, not subscribed to me on YouTube, tell them to hurry the hell up. I got Metal Complex catching me. It's making me anxious. He's a nice enough guy, but I don't like being passed by anybody. So go, go get your friends to subscribe. Tell your mother, your ex-girlfriend, your grandmother, whoever. Tell whoever to hurry up and subscribe. I know if you guys are watching this, you're probably already all subscribed, but... Just telling you. Uh, I'm still trying to figure out that WorkSharp thing you reviewed. I like it. It works really good. What, what's confused about it? Oh, you didn't... Yeah, you must just suck, Lippy. <laughs> it works for me. I mean, Metal Complex has the traps of a Greek god, so he's going to be... Ooh, he could beat my ass in person. But he's just racking up subs like like nobody's business. He's like the new me. That's what I used to do and make people mad. Now he's making me mad. He's my comeuppance is what he is. He's my comeuppance. Metal Combat's gone crazy on videos like two a day almost. Yeah, but that's not always the best thing to do, Matt Baker. That's not always the best thing to do. You just want to be consistent. Whatever, whatever. I try and do one a day. So it's whatever your broadcast schedule is, you just be consistent and you have to do at least like one a week. Other than that, that's, it doesn't, there's nothing, nothing really proven that multiples a day really help. I mean, maybe it's the, the longer, he does longer form videos, but I don't, um, I don't, I don't watch those. So I don't I don't do longer form videos because I don't watch longer form videos. I watch his sometimes because he's my friend, but 
I don't usually do that. Just bought the 8010 for 144 no tax free shipping from cutlery shop. Oh, that's pretty good. Oh, you're saying it's too much, yeah. Well, I know it's not I mean he but they're varied topics. So like I I'll do two a day, like coming up, I'm gonna be reviewing that wallet. And if I do an EDC video, I put that up in the morning, I put a knife video up at night. I don't because I don't want to bust up. This is a knife channel. So I consider the EDC stuff bonus content. Bionic says, I love all of your videos regardless of duration. Aw. Even my naughty videos. I'm kidding. I don't know why I said that. That was that was just too easy of a joke to make. All too easy. I think no more hollow blade. Yeah, there is no more hollow there are no more hollow blade ones, unfortunately. I sold my hollow grind on purpose. Uh, because the flat grinder is coming out and being a reviewer, I have to have the newest one because I wanted to use it for some comparisons and stuff. But I just never got around to get another one until tomorrow. I do believe tomorrow. It may be. It's it's U.S. Postal. Or nice no, UPS, not U.S. Postal. It's U.S. Postal. I definitely have it tomorrow, but it's UPS. But it is it is in my hometown. In my hometown. My current town. But, or the next town over. We're gonna, I'm going to track it right here while I'm sitting here because I'm curious. If it doesn't show up till Tuesday, I'm going to flip over a table. Because I really want it as soon as humanely possible. I hate UPS, man. It's just sometimes they... Sometimes if they say it's arriving on Tuesday, it arrives on Tuesday, even though it's been sitting in your town for two days because they're just jerk holes. I'm sorry. I'm tracking a knife. This is an important thing to do. You guys understand, right? Tracking number. Command V. Return. Search. Yeah, they still claim Tuesday. But it's in Syracuse. Why not get until Tuesday? I can't stand UPS. Right, Keith? Screw UPS. Am I right? Oh, thank you for subscribing, AZ. And thank you for making your friends subscribe. I appreciate it. As we all log in and track our own knives, I remind, reminded all of you. Remember I'm about to start an Italian knives EDC related YouTube channel. There are no resources about the, co the topic in Italian on YouTube. You're a great inspiration. Keep it up. Oh, awesome. Congratulations, Diego. Yeah, there, I, don't know, I don't know. I mean, I'm not, a, I don't speak Italian, so I wouldn't look anyway. But yeah, I, I don't know of any Italian ones. And there's a whole lot of, there's a big knife community in Italy. That's a good idea. You, I think you're doing pretty well if you're half competent at it. I mean, there's there's not... Man, it's a huge knife community. I guess Wes says, ready for more, more Mandalorian. I was ready the second the, the season finale ended. I wanted more of it. Knife Center has 80 time for $179.99 and many places are sold out. Yeah, I think it's going up, though. Uh, UPS is great when they hand your off your stuff to USPS. But yeah, I don't think that's what's happening here, but I'll keep what I'll keep looking at it and see. Uh Slicey Dicey, are you going to do the EDCC podcast? Who's is that? Is, is that oh yeah, everyday city care. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm definitely doing it. This week sometime. We've already talked about it. I'm definitely gonna do it. I like my boy Ray. Uh have you reviewed any artisan cutlery knives? Yes, many. And many CGRBs as well. Uh, Amazon's actually delivery service is amazing. It is junk rat. I, I don't know how they do it. It's pretty incredible. Yep, I like it when it gets like 10 stops away or whatever you can see it coming. It's really cool. It's like when you order Uber Eats or something like that, you can follow them. Grubhub allegedly does it, but most of my Grubhub drivers, I don't see it coming. They just show up, but Uber Eats always does. Slice Dice, do you own the Doug Hogue Ritter Sweet Knife. I reviewed it and everything. I did sell it. I do regret it, but I'm I'm probably not going to get one back anytime soon because I have the Super Freak and it's so close that I'm just not. He says, <coughs> excuse me, gosh, got a hot one there. I don't like people watching my truck, he says. Yeah, I, I bet you don't. Who knows where you're going? You're stopping off at, a, at gentlemanly establishments while you're delivering people's Amazon packages. 
Yep, and they have a full size grip, so it's it's be kind of tripling up. I'll probably get one, but at some point I'll get another one. Maybe if I get one in a trade or something, I'd probably gladly accept it. But uh, there you now have forty seven. Forty seven what? Um, stopping on Twelfth Street for seven minutes. Yeah. <laughs> FedEx once used the excuse of too many organ transplant devices. They had my package for four days, one mile from my house. Yeah, and you can't just like go there and get it, which is really annoying. I guess one I did. One they sent to the wrong house, and the people, like, luckily, $5,000 trike. And um, luckily, the people refused to sign for it. So they took it back, and then they said it was going to be four days before they could re-deliver it. So I said, can I come get it? And they said no. And I yelled and said, let me speak to your supervisor. And they finally let me come get it. Uh, I saw I just got an email from somebody, but I'll see that when I'm done. We'll be done here in a few minutes. Did you order a kidney? <laughs> Thinking of how much fun work will be tomorrow at Scott Simmons. You better not be going to work. You better be going straight to Benchmade, Zach. You better skip work or take a long lunch. Go there. Straight there. Put my knife in the mail. I'm just kidding. I assumed you probably wouldn't get it in the mail till Tuesday. Um, if I had, would have been on time. Yeah. <laughs> Delayed entry. Uh, so, yeah, I think we're going to wrap it up. We're here at 9 o'clock, and I got to put the finishing touches on that Arcane video so that uh, you guys can go get one on uh, Kickstarter tomorrow. I'm not going to have a link. Um to the uh, Kickstarter because it's not live yet, but tomorrow morning, whenever that's up, I will I will change that. So uh, um, those two really aren't, I guess they are kind of similar, aren't they? Ax Gecko, I'll answer one more question before we go. Little Native or Mini Archbishop Pro, yeah, they are pretty similar in size, aren't they? I always, thought the, I always think of this as being smaller than it is. Um, I don't know which one I like better. This is a much better fifth pocket knife. This is probably a better, you know, regular EDC knife. Is that vague enough for you? All right, talk to you guys later. Have a good one. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday. We only have a few hours of it left if you're on the East Coast. I've been Brian. Have a good one.